first of all, very cute. I think this is just so adorable. This really matches the mystery bag that I bought, the bigger one, so it's like a set. It's actually a pretty decent material. It doesn't feel like it's gonna rip as soon as I get into her. Very, very spooky and perfect for the, the time, you know, the Halloween, October. Okay, the zipper works really nice. Ow! And the inside is like a really pretty pink. Okay, y'all know I love a good pink moment. So I think that is really cute. I was kind of expecting this purple on the inside. First, uh, this was actually outside of the bag, is this little brush by Wing Me. Not a fan of receiving brushes with my bag. I prefer actual makeup because I have a bunch of brushes and the brush I need, they never give me. You know, I need one of the little fan brushes. <laughs> but it's never what's in my bag. It's always something that I already have. I think this is really cute. Okay, that iridescence is really pretty. I think on the website they said this was an eyeshadow brush and all over the eyeshadow brush, but bruh, <laughs> what? I mean, this makes sense if you're doing one single color all over the eye, but if you're really trying to do like any detailed work or any blending with like different colors or anything, this is not gonna work. So I don't know what I'm gonna use this for, but I know for certain this thing, is not going on my eyeball. The first thing that I'm pulling out is by Pure Heels, and this is by Nature Village, and it's an eye cream. Another freaking eye cream. I'm so sick of getting eye creams. I have so many eye creams, it's ridiculous. I don't have enough eyes for all these eye creams. Rub, simple, I like green, I think this is nice. If it is safety sealed, it's going in the giveaway, because I have, no, not safety sealed. Okay, it comes like this little applicator, because I am, well, y'all can see, I am with child. I don't really use too many products on my face. I keep it very simple. And eye creams are one of those things I've been avoiding. I'm gonna put this to the side. Because it's not safety sealed, I can't put it in the giveaway. I'll put it to the side for after I give birth and probably like six months after he's been born. Then I can get into all my little eye creams because apparently I got the hugest bags under my eyes according to Ipsy. So I keep putting eye creams in every single bag that I get. I went through and I changed my profile to say that I rarely use eye creams. So hopefully the algorithm does what it's supposed to do and I stop getting these suckers in my bag. They must think I got, <laughs> what's that dude that be in the movies? I don't know his name, but I'm gonna put a picture right here so you know who I'm talking about. They must think I got his bags under my eyes. Toy Factory, and it is nice and plastic wrapped so I know ain't nobody been in it. If I could get the plastic off, that would be nice. If I can get the plastic off in a timely fashion, that would be nice. So this is what it looks like without the plastics on it. I love the way this feels. Like if you can tell what that texture is just by looking at it, it feels so nice. And this is a hyaluronic oat milk oil makeup remover. And this is what it looks like. Super freaking adorable. I do, ooh, and it comes a little dropper. Ah, it's like, da, da, da. I love that, I love the little dropper. It doesn't bend, okay, it's hard as a rock. But I love a cute little eyedropper moment. It's so Instagram ready and fun. I will definitely give this a try next time I put on my makeup and see if it actually gets the makeup off. The real test is mascara, okay? If that mascara is still got some eyelashes looking real hard and crusty dusty, then it don't work. Let's see, we got two more things in here, two more things. The next one is by Tarte. I think this is the first product from Tarte that I've like ever owned in like my entire life. And this is the Lights Camera Lashes Mascara, which is really cute. I love this packaging. It's giving like snake skin. <laughs> it's giving snake skin and it's really, really cute. It's got one of these little brushes right here. Like I said before, I'm not like a brush snob. If it works, that's all I care about. Do it put my lashes where they need to go. If it does, great. If it doesn't, toss. The last thing in here is my fancy. And it is the cutest little lippy. And this is in the color Fenty Icon. No, that's not the color. The color is MVP. I love when brands put effort into their minis. Like this effort, love it. This effort, absolutely love it, bruh. <laughs> this looks like kid makeup. You know what I'm talking about? Like the little kitty kitty makeup. That's what this looks like. Very adorable. Let's see what this color look like though. Ooh, it glides on really beautifully. And this is what that color is looking like. Christmas time, this gonna be, this gonna be my straight heat. Okay, I'm gonna be eating literally with this color. That is so beautiful. I haven't done a red lip in a very long time. I used to rock a red lip when I was like in my early 20s all the time. I love the good red lip. I might have to revisit that because that is beautiful. 
How do I feel about the bag? This was actually a really good bag. Hopefully they don't give me no more damn eye creams. It's probably a nice eye cream. I'm just sick of them. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Fae Bay. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces. Thank you.